Now, next, a poet who shared the stage with the likes of the Sex Pistols, the Fall and Joy Division. To people of a certain age, i.e. my age, John Cooper Clark is a cult hero, but somehow he's managed to slip under the mainstream radar. To me, he's up there with people like Jonathan Richmond and Simon Armitage as one of the great poets of our time. Here's another of his fans, Miranda Sawyer. I'm going back to Manchester to track down a voice that's been gone too long. The bloody view is bloody vile, bloody mouth and bloody mouth, bloody babies, bloody cry, bloody flowers, bloody die, bloody food is bloody mouth, bloody drains are bloody colour scheme is bloody brown, evidently chicken town. People go on about a north-south divide as if there's this notional line between the wash and the seven. But really the divide is something like people who know about John Cooper Clark and don't know about John Cooper Clark. A rational dream, a bucket of steam, a rivet in peace in heat magazine. It's a weird thing because in my mind he, sh he should be like a megastar and he's not but a national treasure is what John Cooper Clark is. A light bulb burst like a blister. Dubbed the punk poet, John Cooper Clark burst onto the scene in the 70s, the warm up man for bands like Buzzcocks, Joy Division, and The Fall. Down a river on Beasley Street. Punk takes it all back to square one and it's three chords and you're away. And so he's doing the same kind of thing only in verse. So they're souped up ballads really with a real kick. You just thought, my God, you know, you know. Who is this guy? You know, where does he come from? What does he do? That's GMEX there, which is where I first saw John Cooper Clark in 1986 at a big gig called the Festival of the Tenth Summer. I'd gone to see New Order and the Smiths and a certain ratio, and in the middle popped up this skinny Milinky bloke with mad hair, and he did. Uh, he was amazing, honestly. He blew me away. But by the end of the 80s, his career had ground to a halt. His one book went out of print. He stopped recording poetry. But now, as he turns 60, he's back with his first proper solo tour in years. I mean, the thing about John is that he appears, and when he does appear, it's like, a, you know, the, the sun breaking through the clouds. I caught up with him to find out exactly where he's been. Have you ever seen Manchester from up here before? Not from this particular angle, no. <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> Over there, is that where the free trade hall was? Kind of free trade there. halls, yeah, that's right, yeah. Down there. Yeah, down there. And so is it true that you were at this, the, the kind of seminal gig where the Sex Pistols played and Joy Division formed because of it and...? No, actually, I was at the, the second one. And how was it? Good? Fantastic, yeah, yeah. It's funny you should mention that punk thing because it's, it's, been, a, it's been a sort of... a kind of millstone around my neck, really, you know what I mean? It sort of de it dates, as, you know, it made your last, you know, last year's thing, you know what I mean? It, I mean, now it's sort of got the, the rosy glow of nostalgia, you know what I mean? And the roast in its best. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I fit it as standard. He does remind everyone of the mid-60s Dylan, the blonde on blonde Dylan, although he's got more in common with the Dylan of a little bit earlier than that, the Dylan of Desolation Row, say, or 115th Dream, those long extended rants, and Beasley Street is just really an updated Desolation Row set in Salford. Far-flung crazy pavements, cracked the sound of empty rooms, a clinical arrangement, a dirty afternoon, where the fatal germs of Mr Freud are rendered obsolete. The legal term is null and void in the case of Beasley Street. I think it's a very important poem. It's a great social comment on those Thatcher years, you know, as well as being very technically brilliant, and it brings to mind that, that time when you thought that the government were really smirking at people's misfortune. To me, it's a very patchy piece, you know what I mean? It's... Some of it works better than others. And yet, for a lot so of people, it's their, it's your favourite work. I think it's yeah, I think it's the one I've got most. You know, um, that, that people seem to you know, think is in, you know, it's a very important piece. His output I would describe as erratic and uh, frustrating. After um, an album he did in 1982, there was nothing. I think for a couple of decades. I think it's been erratic because for a long number of years he didn't give a shit. And you spent a long time quite notoriously addicted to heroin. And it's yeah, but you can also put it down to idleness and the fact that I was lumbered with the title punk poet. You know, there are wider reasons why it happened. Not just plenty of people have heroin habits and keep a career. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you think that you're an ambitious person? If I am, I'm a total klutz about it, you know what I mean? Yeah, maybe I'm not ambitious enough, you know, but... But now I am. Now you are, it's hit yeah, you later. It's too late, yeah, yeah. It's hardly too late, it's too, is it? It's too late, probably. He's increasingly becoming kind of um, 
the reference point of choice for people who, who are kind of lyrical. But if you listen to anything, you listen to my music, Alex Turner's music, The Streets, Kate Nash, anyone, you could you could you could reel off a long list of people. Now that she's older, cause the embers of romance, fate and mortgages and lecky bills being comfortable and that nobody told her. Cause she never reached the stage where a husband bought her or she lied about her age. They've done tracks that they say have been sort of inspired by some of my stuff, you know. And you know, great. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> You know, these people are really good. It's not just Salford, it's not just Manchester. It, he's, it gets bigger than that, it gets out of Manchester. And that's important, it can even cross an ocean, you know? I was watching The Sopranos a couple of years ago, and they used a version of Evidently Chicken Town in the outro. Bloody train is bloody late, you're bloody way, you're bloody way, bloody lost and bloody found, stuck in Chicken Town. One of my great regrets is doing it as bloody. Yeah, you know, rather than rather the traditional than the, F yeah, word. Yeah, yeah. It's, you know, it's far more uh, of a percussive word, isn't it? You know, that, you know. Because you're, so much of your stuff is to do with performance, actually a lot of your, your work is not found any other way. Yeah, yeah, the whole show dies with me. <laughs> <laughs> with that in mind, I've gone to Glasgow to catch him live at the Arches. Yeah, OK. Let's have a look. Aha! What's this one? Sack of the 50 foot woman, which I might, I'll probably do that one tonight. Yeah. I won't be doing all these because, you know, they just, some of them just haven't got it. Feverish. What's that, feverish? Feverish. You know, you've got to do the immediate stuff. Yeah. Are you going to do Hire Car tonight? Yeah. Hey! Yeah, you like that? Yeah, I'll do that. I do yeah. like that one. Yeah, yeah thanks. <laughs> well, also, you can't get it anywhere else, can you? Only from you. Any? Only from you. It's not like I can get it on CD. Well, is we're going to do something about that defo. Yeah, Good. yeah, we've got to get a book out and stuff like that. It's insane. So, is that enough? Yeah. I'll see you in a minute. All right. I'm okay. going to go up there now. I'm going to come back. <laughs> Turn the camera off. All right, see you in a bit. Bye. Hiya. Hire a car, hire a car, why would anybody buy a car? Bang it, prang it, say ta, -ta it's a hire car, baby. Try not to kill yourself or injure anybody else. Don't forget to fasten your belts. Rent it, dent it, bang it, prang it, bump it, dump it, scorch it, torch it, crash and burn it. Don't return it, lost deposit, let them earn it. Who cares, it's on the firm, it's a hire car, baby. <laughs> there we go, hire car. And you can catch John Cooper Clark on stage in Roncorn on Friday, Huddersfield on Saturday, and then Brighton and Cardiff and Bristol later in the month.